Hey guys, this is Brandy with another tutorial, and I'm going to teach you guys how to turn this image into this one right here. So let's not waste any more time, and let's get started. So I'm going to begin by duplicating my background layer, and you can do that by clicking Control J on your keyboard, and that will make a copy. And now I'm going to go right here to my little menu and go up to Color Lookup. Now, make sure that you have this one selected. It says 3D LUT, and I'm going to click on the menu. And I'm going to select Foggy Night. So, I'm going to select the background layer, well, layer 1 right here, and now I'm going to click on my curves. So, I'm going to click on the middle of my curves adjustment and take it up a tad. And I'm going to click all the way up here and just drag it down a little bit. And now I'm going to select my levels. I'm going to brighten it just a little bit. I'm going to drag my shadows over. Okay, and now I'm going to click Levels again, and this time I'm just going to drag my shadows about right there. And I'll click uh, B on your keyboard for your brush, and make sure that your brush is a soft brush. So I have this one selected. Um, make sure your hardness is at zero, and I'm just going to paint the effect off of there. That's very nice. And I'm going to go back up to my color lookup, and I'm going to take my opacity down to about 75%. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add, like, just the slightest vignette. Nothing, you know, too dramatic. So select your menu and go up to Gradient. And I'm going to click on my gradient and select this one right here. Select OK and I'm going to change my style from linear to radial and make sure you inverse that. And now I'm going to expand my circle a bit so I'm just going to go here about there is good. And now I'm just going to lower the effect of that. So I'd say 50 will be fine. So before, after, and that is good. And now I'm going to click on my layer, uh, layer mask, and I'm going to select my brush tool again, make sure it's black. I'm just going to make sure none of the uh, gradient got onto this little, what do you call it, leaf thingy. <laughs> And there we go. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my background layer. And I'm going to go to Filter. And I'm going to go to Other and select High Pass. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just sharpening my image as a whole. Uh, so to do this, you're just going to take your radius up. And you're going to keep going up until you can start to see some detail in this box area. So I think that's sharp enough, but for you guys to see the effects, I'm just going to take it up just slightly more. So about 2.5 should be plenty. Select OK. And now I'm going to change my blending mode to soft light. And that sharpened it up a ton. And lastly, I am going to go back to my uh, levels again. I should have done this earlier, but I'm going to go to my levels and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to drag this right up here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a tad darker. So about right, let's see, right there is good. There we go, and now I'm just going to take a, another snapshot, and that's about it. So I'm going to right-click my background layer and select Flatten Image. 
So guys, as always, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below. And as always, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.